I received this word from the Lord, and I believe it's a critical word for the time that we're living in. I'm going to read it to you now. New Age religion, with their acronyms for prosperity disguised with my favor, their self-care disguised with what they claim to be rest and worship, the self-gratification they disguise as a heavenly reward for the service they perform to their own benefit, manipulating my word and laws to bring greater glory to themselves. This manipulation is a lie. Manipulating the gospel to achieve your dreams, completely missing the battle cry, missing the commission placed upon your life when your life is not your own. What do I hear? I hear, please let me stay in my bubble of comfort and ignorance. Please refrain from calling out truth so I can avoid conviction in my own heart. The inescapable message of self-promotion, self-care, and success inundate the world. But when you belong to me, you are not of this world. When you belong to me, it's no longer about you. Self-promotion. You spend time focusing on worldly success, meditating on your dreams and visions that empower you to go to new levels of worldly power. The power isn't the evil, but what you are focused on to achieve it is. Your promotion isn't about my agenda. If it was, then your goals would match the commission I placed on your life when I went to Calvary. In Matthew 28, 16 through 20, it says, Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you and be sure of this. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. These are my last recorded words before ascending into heaven. If you are mine, then this is what goes on your dream boards. Self-gratification. This generation is a generation of now. Any discomfort in your flesh is remedied with whatever comfort this world makes available. In your discomfort, you reach to a prescription, a drug, alcohol, a person, a service, an outlet that will hear your cry. You end up conforming to the comfort of the world when I am your comforter. I am your healer. I am your lover and friend. I am your everything. Yet you turn to me when all else fails as your last resort instead of your first. You want to talk about self-care, how to truly take care of yourself? True rest is relying endlessly on spending time with Jesus. Pain, discomfort, frustration are all deemed worthy only in the light of self-gratification. But this kind of suffering for the gospel? What gain is in that? Do you see? Even your sacrifice is for your own gratification, not mine. You sacrifice to idols, to doctrines of demons. Does this sound too radical? Consider whom you serve each day, if not me than the enemy. If you accept my life being the price paid for yours, then your life is not your own and I become your total gratification. Success. The definition is the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. What is your aim? What do you believe your purpose is? To be a good person? To help people? To care for your family? To stand up for moral and civil issues? If all of this were your purpose, truly your purpose, Jesus would not have need to have gone to the cross. Rest assured in all these things, you are not that important. And praise God that you are not. You can't be good enough. You will never be able to help enough people to do everything right, to properly care for your family. The moral and civil issues will not be cured because of your stand. Praise God. These burdens are far too heavy to carry. Hallelujah, we have a Savior that carried it all at the cross. He is enough. He is the victor, and by the blood of Jesus, we are made clean and new. In his sacrifice, we might be made worthy to be used by Jesus. By his strength and might, we 
carry out our ultimate purpose to live from his success. From this place, broken places are made new. From this place, our families are cared for. From this place, confusion on morality is made clear and concise. Jesus, it is all about Jesus. Our success is measured by the accomplishment of loving Jesus well. 2 Corinthians 9 verses 10 and 11 say, For God is the one who provides seed for the farmer and then bread to eat. In the same way, he will provide and increase your resources and then produce a great harvest of generosity in you. Yes, you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous. And when we take your gifts to those who need them, they will thank God. From this place, we are used to accomplish the purpose of Christ, to bring the gospel, set the captives free, to love well by the power of the one that created love. All else is false doctrine.